needle felting. I mean, that's all I've got to get started really. Don't <laughs> okay, here's all that I understand about needle felting. Okay, let's, I bought some stuff. Unlock it. Ow! I actually stabbed myself. You meant to stab though, just not yourself. See, the idea is there are little barbs all the way along these needles. And what happens is when you stab the felt, it pulls the felt into the body of the thing you're stabbing it into. So it holds into there. Let's give it a go. So I've got felt. I asked the lady at the local craft shop to give me some advice. And she said, you, be, you get this stuff, you put it in the middle so that you're not wasting all the nice colorful felt. Put the body of something together. So let's take this for example, you hold it in the shape you want and you stab it and it'll sort of hold its shape. I'm gonna wanna rush this and like, but then I'm gonna get tired really quickly. That's, I mean, already, that's actually feeling fairly firm, like it's holding a shape. That's really cool, right? This is where you get your colored things. So let's, oh, do you know what? Both you and Amy said I should do a Pikachu. Maybe I'll dabble with a Pikachu. So I've got all these different felt colors. I'm gonna find the most Pikachu appropriate. Oh. Then you can also work with actual felt sheets. So the idea is you can cut these up, you can make clothes or whatever. But by doing that enough, it's sort of joining them inside. So I've got a whole bunch of felt. Oh, I've never felt so intensely about a video. You you were gonna ah! you were I was waiting for it. Ah! I deserve that. And I'm gonna start off by doing a good Pikachu body base. All right, let's get started. So it was time to get started needle felting a Pikachu. Pretty straightforward process as I've figured out in the dabble, but as time went on, it became pretty apparent, especially as things scaled up. And if I was trying to go for any sort of quality, it would take quite a lot of time. Stabby, 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 stabby. That was the rhythm of my whole day. Things started to get a little more interesting when the form, the, the shape of the felt, the wool was solidifying and I could start to piece little lumps of them together, starting to create the form and shape of my Pikachu. Especially when I needle felted the cute little Pikachu arms over his little belly. With the rough shape of my Pikachu in place, I started to move on to adding the color on top, not even too thickly over top and needle felted on top of it. And it really just completely adds a layer of color. It's really, really fun. Now I believe people who do this, you know, properly or professionally or whatever standard you would call it, do this a lot. I think this is the time consuming bit because if you don't do the needling for hours or whatever, it, it ends up looking fuzzy on the surface. And for people to get a really nice, smooth and solid surface texture, you just gotta keep stabbing. So I was getting pretty aggressive with my stabbing, which you could tell because it was also the first time I stabbed myself. The first of many times. The sacrifice I'm willing to take for the ability to, with more finesse, hold my little figures. But yeah, the needles are very sharp and you do get into a place where you stab quite aggressively and sometimes your figure's in the way. So maybe don't do it the way I'm doing it, but I'm stubborn, so there you go. I have to say, first go, I'm pretty proud of that. I want to do the details of Pikachu and I'm gonna do that with a mix of felt sheets. Let's start off with the, the footsies. Can you like felt stitch this to itself? Treat it like a little wad. Yeah, yeah. And try not to stab my finger, which it turns out is challenging. <laughs> I think this is the idea. I think this is how you meant to do it. He's got like a little light foot. <laughs> I'm working with what I got, okay? How am I doing needle felters? Am I bringing pride and spotlight to your beloved craft or am I infuriating you to your core? Let me know in the comments. I think this is what I'm meant to do. Probably much more gracefully than I'm doing it, but I think that's sort of it. All right, let's do another one. Let's just, just, let's just keep going. We're doing, we're on a roll. Yeah. It's a little lopsided. He's got one bigger foot than the other. <laughs> pick a chew, more like pick a mismatched shoes. Good. Thank you. I'm get very good at this. I just got to draw attention away from the feet and I'll do that by making a really, really effective, well-made face. Ow! I have no idea how this is gonna look in the end, but it's taking shape. 
don't know if he's looking better or slowly more cursed. Hey, I could gradient this. I'll get my original yellow. Ooh, getting fancy now. We can do it tastefully. We can do subtle, tasteful butt cheeks. I'll show you, this is my tutorial. Hi, welcome to Craft with Jazza. Today we're gonna add a nice, tasteful Pikachu butt cheeks. A little definition on either side by doing a subtle gradient in the middle. This slightly darker orange color. Just pop that down there in the middle there and apply. Which applies a nice, subtle, gradiented shading. We have a tasteful definition of the butt crack of Pikachu. This is where I like to have a bit of fun. And just gently, very tastefully and delicately, pull that down the middle. <laughs> that is a tasteful Pikachu butt if I ever saw one. And I've seen a few. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we have to finish this off with the nose. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty chuffed with this. I think this is a really successful dabble, but I can't, I can't say that for myself. I wanna get some opinions from other people. Before we do that, epic reveals. Billy, what do you think of my Pikachu? Oh, that's so cute. Oh. He's pretty, he's a, he's a chonky boy he's, and he's yeah. pretty cute. Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu. Do you like my little Pikachu, it's Caroline? Very cute. What do you reckon? That's so something I meant to be making. What, you mean, you mean the intricate details? <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you guys want to see what I made? Oh, he's so cute. Why has it got a brown butt? It, well, I don't know, it's detail. He's so fluffy. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> this boy needs to wipe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at it. It's a cute little fat Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's safe to say that this was a wild success. And to be like one project in, this is my first needle felting project. And I'm so happy with it. I'm gonna do another project. I did learn a lot while doing this and, and it feels pretty approachable. And I reckon with a bit of rapid fire mode, we could probably crack something out pretty good. But let's now actually look at what people do for a bit of inspiration, maybe even a bit of education so I can approach my final one with a little more guidance, a little more direction and a lot more ambition. They've got a fluff ball that's dense, that's been stabbed. And then they put little eyes in it. Oh, that's cute. That's a cool idea. Oh, you did, you did not. You did not just show me up. Don't even. Oh my God. What? No way. That's actually insane. I'm not gonna attempt that one. Cats are a thing, apparently. My goodness. Wow. That's cool though, I could, I could see how they made the fur. You, you fold it there and then you like push it in. And now he's a very wise Pikachu. That's a cool thing to have picked up. Oh my God, this is pretty cute. These are impressive. They're all very cute. These are more my style than the realistic animals, like the cute, cute little things like this. They're very cool. What do we do? What do we do? So many colors, so many colors. And I've got some big chunks, but takes time. So we gotta, we gotta consult. I think maybe twice this big is doable, but you know. It's a character that you can do by using what if I did a little Heimerdinger? He's cute. But a little Heimerdinger would be cool because then I could do the fur and like mustache and stuff. What if I do like a chibi Heimerdinger from League of Legends slash Arcane, which is my favorite animated TV show. Do it. Doing it. Let's do it. Heimerdinger time. So I set about creating my dive piece, a real dive into needle felting and something that I could really push myself and do something I was proud of. I was proud of the Pikachu butt, but I was also, I'm trying to say <laughs> I should make something more conventionally appreciatable. I do think I bit off more than I could chew to start off with. A chunk of wool was far too big and thick and felt like I was doing nothing for almost an hour. So I kind of just pulled it apart and in half and turned one of the halves into what might be a body upper half and then focused on a slowly solidifying head. I also tried to pre-prepare the goggles and I didn't have any red flat felt. So I needle felted the red fluffy felt stuff onto a vibrant pink sheet and I hoped that it would hold its shape if I needle felted it enough and then just cut the goggle shape out of them. And 
then it was on to adding the hair of Heimerdinger. I'm so glad I watched some other people using needle felting techniques because seeing how they did the hair was really, really useful and it opened up a whole new world of how I could create these characters. And it was really fun. I was surprised as to how defined and, and gradiated and specific you could get adding little highlights or shadows with slightly different colors of felt in carefully positioned places. And then just giving them a little trim and haircut and even loosely felting the very loose fuzz into shaped curls and positions on the head. And for good measure, I used a little bit of hairspray to hold things in place once I was happy with it. And as I went, because you know, it's hairspray and I'm basically needle felting hair. I figured it would work pretty well and it did. I have to say, I was really, really glad that uh, I chose to do Heimendinger for a few reasons. One, I love Arcane. I'm actually not even a League of Legends fan, believe it or not. For those of you loyal to League of Legends who are happy that I'm doing this, I'm actually a Dota man. Don't at me. <laughs> but I fell in love with Arcane, the animation style, the characters, and that gives me a lot of interest in League of Legends. But Heimerding is a perfect character for this sort of project because he's both epic and adorable, which I think is perfect for needle felting. I wanted to make something that looks really cool, but it's needle felting, so I gotta go chibi, and it's gotta be cute. And oh my god, was it starting to look cute, especially as I started to get to the final details. With the fluffy eyebrows in place, the mustache taking shape, and the little button nose, with every detail and every step I took now, a huge change was made, and the personality of this character was really coming to life. happy with this. This was so much fun. I feel like my dive is really refined and, and worked really, really well. Like I took all the things I learned and made something really cool. I can't wait to put him on the show. And because he's got wire in him, he can tilt his head and not stand up. Even this was really fun and dumb. Like I'm stupid proud of this. And my son popped in halfway through the day when I was working on it last week and he wants it. So I get to give this as a gift to my child. And you know, maybe I'm just gonna pull the brown out. <laughs> so let me know in the comments if you wanna see me do some more needle felting. And if so, what project should I tackle? I think we can go bigger now that I know a little bit more about what I'm doing. Needle felters out there, let me know what you wanna see, what I could improve on my next approach. And make sure to like that video and subscribe for more fun with art and creativity where we experiment with everything we love and can come across, whether it works or it I mean, that works. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, this was so fun.